What are dark pools? Um, so the, the cool thing that we're going to talk to this week, it actually came up. It's something that I thought was going to be a topic, but it was interesting that CZ, um, the great uh, person in the crypto space, um, you know, regards to whatever you think about him, but he raised a, a very topical and pertinent point, and it had to do with dark pools. Um, you know, back in the 1980s, institutions were trading large blocks of shares on public markets, but there's a major problem with that that crypto is seeing right now, that the moment that they started moving something with massive size, the market moved against them. And prices would crash mid-trade. The world knew um, that they were in because you have these like uh, markets where you can see buyers and sellers, etc. So to fix that, Wall Street invented dark pools. These are private venues where trades could be matched quietly and only reported once completed. If we fast forward to crypto today, we've built something that's radically transparent and so it's facing this kind of issue. And the recent story that's really highlighted this was this trader named James Wynn was uh, trading on Hyperliquid, lost $100 million. That's right. Like He's got more than that, but he lost $100 million claimed his positions were being hunted. Whether that's true or not, the fact that it can happen is a design issue in the DeFi markets. What are dark pools? What what do you think about them? What do you think about this situation? Uh, So what is a dark pool uh, and why do we need it? So the the, the dark pool concept effectively is, uh, let's put it the the important part of the dark pool concept is it's at the order level. Because if I know that you have, uh, you know, a million chargers mm. and you really want coffee and I only have 10 coffee cups, mm. right? And you need to offload that. You need to sell all of that. Uh, I see that you want to sell it and I see that you want to sell it fast because you've literally told the market here, I have a million chargers. Block. They're up for they're up for sale. Yeah. And uh, that tells me that, well, okay, fine. Then you want this. It's going to be not one charger per coffee cup it's going to be you know a hundred chargers per coffee cup now why do i up the price i up the price because i know that you need to sell because you're literally telling me you're putting that up up, that that market order or that sorry that order uh for everyone to see now that's the problem again it's not a problem with the settlement it's a problem with how we effectively uh engage in commerce so then the dark pool is basically us doing this negotiation but not in the open market mm. but it's off market it's, yeah, an, it's in another place put something behind yeah. here where we can see it exactly others can 